Yes, all gentlemen, this place for member only. Is your fucking membership. God damn it, Joe. Can't you listen to me for once? No, I can't. You seen what they done to Henry. God damn it, Joe. See? Why didn't you just bang the damn gong while you were at it? Pipe down! Get the asshole behind the bar! What they got by? So he's on the of my tongue. You ain't so tough. Die, you piece of shit. one of them. Here comes more of them. What has he done? <laughs> Bingo. All right, you go first, Vito. You're a smaller target. Thanks, fat ass. Hey, you said we got to do this smart, right? Is that prick? He's got to be around here somewhere. Keep going. Come on, you little fucks! You fuck with the wrong guys, dick!
special delivery for you. Quiet, Vito. Since when are you concerned about making noise? There's too many of them. Just take them out nice and quiet. For what? I said you should be quiet. Oh, it is. 
the last of them. See? Ain't so bad so far, right? Yeah, but what if somebody recognizes us and Carlo hears about it? That's why we ain't leaving no witnesses. There's probably more of them down here. Get ready. You slanty-eyed fuck! What is it that you want? <laughs> what the fuck do you think we want? We want to know why you had our friend killed. We also want the money you took from him. I had no choice. Your friend was a government informer. What, what? the fuck are you talking about? A contact inside the Federal Bureau of Narcotics told me that Henry Tomasino passed them information about our deal. That's a fucking lie! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You saying Henry was a rat? Yes. But not anymore. That's bullshit. Makes no sense. And I suppose you had nothing to do with the little stick-up after we closed the deal with you either, right? You think we would take such a stupid risk and destroy our own factory? That was just another reason to get rid of you. We had problems with you from the very beginning. Yeah. Well, all your problems are just about over, pal. So where's our money? It's not here anymore. What? Where the hell is it then? I cannot tell you. If you don't tell us, I'm gonna splatter your yellow brains all over this fucking room. If I told you, I'd be dead anyway. Find your choice! Are you crazy? What you wanna do, let him go or something? We could've gotten more out of him. Fuck that, he wouldn't have said nothing. These bastards are tough. <sighs> Let's just get the hell out of here before the cops come. Looks like this place won't be opening up for a while. If we had the time, I'd burn it to the damn ground. Vito, come here. Ah, oh, fuck this! Come on, Vito, let's get out of here! This guy's a maniac! We gotta take him down! Where are you going? Copy Vito. that. No, 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 no. Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Roger that. The radio has to break into the rocket tubes for a breaking news item. The Red Dragon restaurant in Chinatown is normally where you find the very best egg rolls in the city. But right now, you'll find nothing but cops. Police have shut down the entire vicinity 
of the Red Dragon. All right. Because of what we lost them. Take me to my place, Vito. I need a fucking drink. That was, uh... was fucked up, huh? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Just get me back to my place, would you? All right. Total fucking disaster. Tell me about it. Henry's dead. We don't have Bruno's money. We killed half the Tongs. And if they think Carlo sent us, that will mean war. Psh, we're fucked. Yeah. And if Carlo finds out we got him into this mess... What if Henry really was a rat? No fucking way. Don't even say that. Look, first let's get the money for Bruno. That'll fix at least one problem. But I'm done for today. I need a drink. Call you in the morning. We'll figure this shit out. All right. Okay, I'll see you later. And Vito, be careful. I'm ready. You just woke me up. So get the fuck up. We don't get the money for Bruno today. We're fucked. Where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 55 grand, huh? I don't know. We sure as hell ain't gonna find the laying around in bed. I got something for starters. A job from Eddie with a big payout. No shit. Yeah, I'll pick you up in a few minutes. So get dressed, grab a gun, and wait for me outside. I'll tell you more in the car. This better not be one of your brilliant ideas, Joe. Hey, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to snap at you. I'm still half asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you in or not? Sure, why not? How long till you get here? I'm calling from the gun shop around the corner. I'll be at your place in a minute. All right, I'll wait for you out back. I'll see you soon. What's with the fancy wheels? Betty gave it to us just for this job. Nice, eh? You drive. My head's still pounding from last night. We're going to Greenfield. Guess you hit the sauce pretty hard, too, huh? Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. Nothing a bottle of scotch couldn't fix, though. Head over to Greenfield. So now can you tell me what this is all about? We're just gonna drive there, pop some guy and drive away. Should be a piece of cake. Why? 
Eddie said it's a favor for some family from another city. Unfinished business. He gave me this envelope with all the instructions. He said it's got to be clean and it's got to be done today. Why the hell doesn't the other family just do it themselves? Eddie said they've been looking for this guy for a while and they just found him. They're afraid that if it ain't done right away, the guy's going to disappear again. Here, here's a picture. What'd this guy do? Says here he ratted his family out to the feds. The guy's got to come and come now. But wait a minute. If he cooperated with the feds, that means he was under protection, right? What if he still is? He's been a few years. We're getting paid a few grand for the job. So it's more than worth the risk. I have you say so. Hey, we need every penny we can get right now, right? So after we finish this job, we'll split up and look for other work. I don't know. Says here they want us to give him a message before we do it. Here, here it is. Okay, got it. Hey, if you see Eddie later, not a word about yesterday. He was never there. Last chink we saw was delivering egg food young. You get it? Yeah, you think I am? Some kind of retard? Jury's still out on that one, pal. Just making sure you don't slip up, that's all. Slow the fuck down before you get pulled over. Take it easy, I'm in a rush. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Like I said, it's about six feet tall, so dark hair, medium build. Those guys over there. Shit, go, go! Copy that. Let's get the fuck out of here. We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. This is Agent Cox. We need police support in Greenfield. Now, <clears throat> goddammit! Those were feds. That asshole really was a homicide. Oh. Oh. Yes, we're convenient to leave out little details like that. Maybe he didn't know. Don't matter now. We gotta lose him.
will you? I got a car waiting there. What about the money? Hey, I almost forgot. <coughs> Eddie paid me in advance, so here's your share. Don't worry, I'll take good care of you. Getting your hair for the money. Come by my place when you're done. Okay, I'll see you later.
and Ricky Fox. Oh, and in case you didn't catch that call I made you ah! meeting up with a ball shop yesterday, don't sweat it, boys and girls. Because now, they've been... Sir, good to see you this afternoon. Will that be all, sir? Please come again, sir. Oh, sorry. Hey, thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? <clears throat> Frank's organizing a sit-down with the other bosses, and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that deadbeat you fired. Hey. Shit. 
We'll veto that other thing a will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this deadbeat didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. Anyway, some of his buddies are upset, and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them, and they'll forget all about it. I give you a thousand bucks. Are you in? All right. I ain't gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. These fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This ain't the first time I have problems with them, you know. You uh, know how many of them there is? Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? Oh, no, it's just, uh, what are we gonna do to them? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. Just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how stunard you are. So, what's the problem here, fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here. And I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you! Easy does it, Vinny. We want to do this Easy. peacefully. We bust our asses day in and day out for this fat fuck! And if anything ever happens to us, he'll screw us over Lower just like he did John. your voice now, young man. I don't want to hear another word about that fucking dead... Who are you calling a deadbeat? A crate fell on the poor guy while he was working. For you. Broke both his damn hands. Well, that's his fucking problem, not mine. And I suggest you just get back to work before somebody else's hands get you broke. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. We don't want no trouble. It don't look that way to me. Right now, looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next ten minutes. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. Vito? You're Skeletor's boy, ain't you? I, your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. But what are you doing working for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth. Right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? They're just trying to get under your skin, Derek. Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at don't me. Don't you ask him how your dad drowned Trap. that night? We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone. And all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. What the hell happened with my father, Derek? Are you nuts or what? Who are you gonna trust, me or these now unemployed losers? We known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of all Why the were things. Were you all wet, Steve? You dive in and try to save him because he wouldn't stay underwater. Keep your mouth shut, Vito. You swore an oath. I was there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. Eh, should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do. I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more than disappoint you, Derek. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. Time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, guys. This is crazy, folks. We shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself.